muted. unmuted uh good afternoon everyone hello everyone thank you so much for joining in hello yeah please go ahead uh... sure so hello everyone thank you so much for joining in so, uh, today we have a very interesting session on how to sell if at uh, effortlessly with inbound marketing so today we have uh, Deepak with us. He is digital marketing consultant, an entrepreneur, and a blogger in himself. So today he is going to share his experiences how overall digital has really helped in terms of harnessing the entire ecosystem of digital marketing. So today uh, some of key key takeaways of this session could be how to get into the shoes of your customer and understand their needs, how to develop the funnel through building relationship with your potential customers automatically. How to let your potential customer discover your product and uh, sell effortlessly, right? Also, to give you an overview of the logistics, we have question panel at the right side of the platform. So, um, anybody who has a question can write down um, on the question field of the question uh, at the end of the session, probably in a logical order. Also, we have 45 minutes of the presentation and 10 minutes of uh, Q&A session at the end. So um, I'll uh, uh, hand over this session to Deepak. Deepak, uh, please take uh, take the session ahead. Yeah, sure. So good afternoon, everyone, and um, I hope everyone is able to see my screen, hear my voice. Uh, if you have any questions, just put it in the questions tab. And let's get started with the presentation. So today's uh, session is about how to sell effortlessly with inbound marketing, right? So we'll just get started. I am very excited about this. So uh, a short introduction about myself. Uh, so this is uh, me, Deepak Kanakaraju. Uh, I have around six to seven years of experience in uh, digital marketing. Uh, I have had my own blog uh, as an entrepreneur. I have run my own business from uh, 2008 to 2012. And after that, I have uh, had the opportunity to work for some really great brands like uh, Practo, Exotel, Therum, Instamojo. Uh, you may have heard of uh, some of these brands or maybe all of these brands. And I gained a lot of experience in uh, inbound marketing, digital marketing, inside sales and the overall selling process. And if you want to get connected with me, you can find my uh, Twitter and LinkedIn links at deepak.info. Uh, I, I guess uh, many of you uh, know about me already uh, who are here and for those of you who don't know about me just get connected with me. So let's get started right. So the current uh, state of sales. So here we will be talking about what is the current uh, state of sales and we will be talking about some of the myths and uh, misconceptions that are you know even sometimes true. So what are they? So there are some misconceptions and in, in some cases, you know, people think that uh, selling is not really easy. Uh, sales people do not love their jobs. That is another misconception. It's hard to make people pay you money. Uh, you have to lie to sell sometimes. Uh, some people even uh, have to kind of, you know, bend their uh, ethics uh, in some cases to actually make the sale. Indian people do not take out their wallets easily. So this is another misconception that's there. And uh, there is another misconception that you, you need to create hype to sell. So these myths and uh, misconceptions are sometimes true. But uh, you know sometimes uh, they are just uh, myths and misconceptions and uh, nothing else to it. But we will be looking at uh, how you need not do that and how you can overcome this. So that's what today's session is going uh, to be about. But before we try to learn something or before we try to actually go somewhere, we just need to know where we are and where we are going, right? So that's what the first two slides is about. So let's see what is the ideal scenario for sales. 
how sales should actually be right so uh, when you are creating a product or service and uh, whether you are uh, uh, doing it on your own as an entrepreneur or whether you are uh, actually working in a company in sales and marketing so the, most of the company's uh, energy will be focused on creating great products and services and then people should actually be able to discover your product right and then they should learn about your product and they should start trusting you before they can buy from you so what next so they will buy from you because they want or need your product not because you want them to buy your product so they will be happy customers and they will be buying again so this is the ideal scenario for sales right who wants this ideal scenario for sales so imagine the previous slide where i showed you where it's actually a little bit difficult to do sales where in many cases uh, people uh, go to a little bit of extent where they feel that uh, uh, it's very difficult to sell uh, they, you have to lie a little bit to start selling uh, you have to push people to buy your products but this is the ideal scenario of how sales should be you should create great products and services and you should let people discover your product they should learn about your product and start trusting you they will buy from you because they want or need your product and they will be happy customers after uh, they purchase your product right so this is where we want to be and we will be looking at uh, some of the methodologies and examples which will get us to this point so overall what i am saying is that sales should never be an uphill battle and what we all want as sales and marketers and as entrepreneurs is sales should be like this right it should be just like a water slide uh, from the top to the bottom it should just glide and it should be very easy and many of you may be skeptical many of you may think that this is not really possible but i will show you some of the examples and analogies as well which will kind of make you understand that uh, sales can be this easy right so we are we all have been uh, exposed to traditional marketing whether uh, we ourselves are uh, marketing and sales people or not uh, we have uh, at some point in our life we would have uh, seen all these kinds of marketing right so there is this uh, door to door uh, marketing which people do right uh, you may have experienced uh, sales people knock your door and try to sell you some stuff and there are sales and marketing people you know you may have had some experience yourself or you may know someone who actually had to sell something uh, door to door so here this is the same process where you are not letting people discover your products but you are actually pushing some product uh, to someone and trying to sell it to them then you would have seen newspaper advertisements uh, billboards and hoardings and of course we all have been exposed to tv ads and more or less traditional marketing is what we don't want to focus on right now in certain cases right in certain cases such as fmcg goods or uh, commodity products uh, traditional marketing will work to create brand awareness but when you are talking about high value products right um, or when you are talking about b2b products uh, traditional marketing will not really work and it especially doesn't work in today's day and age and in such a situation in such a challenge how will you actually go ahead and try to sell something so that's what we are going to uh look today right so what we are going to do uh, today's agenda will be understand uh, what is inbound marketing and why inbound marketing is really necessary and why you should start adopting it uh, we will look at some analogies very interesting analogies which i have uh, picked up uh, from other great minds and i will give you some live examples of uh, uh, one business project which i am doing it with my partner and using inbound marketing to sell and there is another uh, example which is a real estate company who is using inbound marketing to uh, sell in the indian market in fact in the bangalore market completely inbound marketing right so let's go ahead um, so i am giving you an analogy to help you understand uh, the entire uh, inbound marketing versus outbound marketing or traditional marketing process and uh, this uh, example has been uh, very well received uh, wherever i go and this is uh, this example i have picked up from someone else and let's just imagine that this is a guy and this guy wants to get some uh, get a girl and he wants to get married and what he is trying to do is that he is uh, trying to say that uh, you know i am rich i am looking good uh, i will keep you happy 
I, I am better than others and uh, blah 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 so he just is trying to advertise or market himself and what he does is that you know he tries to uh, drive a very beautiful car uh, he dresses very nicely you know he flaunts his wealth and you know he grooms himself very well and he is trying to uh, marry a girl and you know uh, uh, the approach that he is following is that you know I will approach 100 good looking girls and maybe one of them will say okay. So this is the traditional approach of a loser who is trying to get a girl and here you can see that you know no matter how much he tries to advertise and market himself uh, you can see the biggest problem here uh, that comes is trust. So how will someone trust him and uh, nobody will be actually be ready to marry him and even if a girl says you know yes okay I will marry you because you know you are uh, rich you are looking good uh, I believe you will keep happy more or uh, more often than not. The problem with uh, such a marriage proposal or uh, you know uh, such a uh, wife would be that you know she would be marrying him just for the money he has and uh, it, it may not be uh, because uh, they share something in common there may not be a real uh, good relationship between them and the marriage may even fall apart in the future. So this is just a hypothetical situation uh, you may know someone or you may have seen someone uh, try to follow the similar method to actually try to uh, get some uh, you know mates in the in the society so uh, to just understand the analogy what is the opposite end of uh, the spectrum uh, let's say this guy uh, this is our inbound marketing guy and what this guy does is that you know he goes to a, a bar or a social place wherever you can meet uh, people socially he makes eye contact first and then there are other things that he does right you know he does uh, smile uh, he makes more eye contact he tries to initiate a conversation he says hi hello and then he probably tries to get the phone number of this girl uh, then you know he may invite this girl for a coffee or uh, you know several coffees or then you know uh, then uh, he will try to follow up with this girl you know he will uh, try to set up a dinner date and there will be multiple dinner dates and then uh, uh, more of all the above uh, you know this will keep happening and then probably after a few months after he has built a relationship and after there is some friendship and after the girl has started trusting him what will happen is that you know uh, this guy can propose a marriage and uh, then there could be a long lasting marriage. So this is uh, the stark analogy of the previous example that we have seen and let's see uh, so this is the inbound marketing funnel and what I will uh, do here is that you know I will try to do all the uh, steps that this guy has done and I will try to fit into inbound marketing funnel. So when you do inbound marketing uh, you know whether you sell a product or service uh, first there has to be discovery of the brand somebody has to actually discover your product or service they have to know that this product exists and then there is a attraction mechanism where people are actually attracted to your product or service uh, they learn more about it and then they decide that you know they should pay more attention to it so let's say you find out something interesting and you want to pay more attention to it first you discover it you are attracted to it and then you actually uh, pay attention to it and then there is a lead generation process for example uh, let us consider digital vidya and if you are uh, interested in uh, getting trained from digital vidya uh, for digital marketing what you would do is that you know you may have probably registered uh, for a free webinar or registered for a free brochure and that's where the lead generation happens and then there is some uh, trust building part where uh, 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 you if you are running a business you would keep uh, sending follow-up calls and emails and then there is trust building factor uh, more of the trust building uh, factor and then uh, you know uh, here instead of uh, the love attraction what you would uh, have is uh, you would develop a friendship with a person uh, who is likely to buy your product and services because you are actually being helpful right and then there will be actually the transaction where they come and purchase your product that will be the uh, uh, transaction part and then there will be customer retention part so here you can compare uh, you know this analogy uh, with how the entire uh, sales happens and when you look at the previous example that uh, we gave where uh, this guy you know tries to market himself and advertise himself and he just goes and contacts a lot of different people 
and tries to sell himself you know tries to get a girl and it may not actually happen and even if it happens the girl may not be happy because she is getting married for the wrong reasons so similarly when you look at the traditional marketing that is happening today uh, whether you know it's uh, tv newspaper radio ads you know you drive down the road you see a lot of hoardings and lot of people are trying to sell you a lot of stuff uh, your uh, attention is you know constantly in demand and basically this can be analogous to someone trying to sell something up front without trying to build a relationship with you right so uh, this uh, this example you know uh, it has been well received wherever i go and uh, this is the only example if you really want to understand inbound marketing and i hope uh, by now you understood a little bit you know uh, what is outbound marketing and inbound marketing and how uh, you can actually start selling effortlessly with inbound marketing uh, now that we have got that cleared uh, now that we know that inbound marketing is actually more powerful than outbound marketing and inbound marketing is the natural way to sell right so it's the natural way to sell it's not uh, very artificial it's not trying to uh, actually persuade someone or actually trying to push someone and um, Uh, you know asking them to buy you know asking them uh, you know lying to them to buy or trying to uh, uh, you know dissuade them or you know trying to be uh, unethical and try to sell uh, but inbound marketing is more of a natural way to sell right so inbound marketing will uh, basically uh, now that uh, we have seen a lot of steps in inbound marketing how and we, we have seen an analogy of inbound marketing uh, now we will look at some of the different uh, Uh, steps in inbound marketing in a more detailed way and what i will do is that i will also uh, what i have done is that i have tried to shrink the entire process into four steps uh, instead of several steps so the first step is driving discovery and attention right so first uh, someone should actually discover your product and pay attention to your product before you can actually do a lead generation and try to uh, sell to them try to contact them and sell to them right so one of the uh, so inbound marketing mostly i will be talking about uh, online uh, digital marketing so inbound marketing using digital marketing uh, there are certain cases where inbound marketing is done even offline uh, without the presence of the internet uh, for example you go to a mall you go to an exhibition uh, you see a new product and you leave your contact information there and then they start following up with you and try to sell you the product that is also some form of inbound marketing but inbound marketing really became famous uh, with the internet and with the digital marketing where everyone is using internet uh, to research products and services to discover new products right so mostly the entire rest of the presentation will be focused on inbound marketing with digital marketing so driving discovery and attention right so search engine marketing is one of the major ways to drive discovery and attention and if if you are going to google and trying to search for digital marketing training uh what you would find is that you would find a lot of ads and you will find a lot of organic results which will give you information about digital marketing training that is available in the market right so search engine marketing is one major way to uh drive discovery and attention uh display ads on niche websites uh, that can be done uh facebook ads can be done it's uh, very famous right now many uh, small businesses and large businesses are using facebook ads to drive uh, discovery you would have seen a lot of lot of youtube ads one out of every two internet uh, users use youtube and i am sure that you know uh, you definitely would have used youtube and seen a lot of ads running there so again this is uh, part of the discovery and attention that is being done uh, then there is content marketing with seo so content marketing again there are lots of different types of content for example there is a, a blog content which uh, you can write articles on your blog and these articles will start generating inbound traffic from seo i will show you a live example of that and then um, webinar is also uh, some form of content right uh, that is again content marketing uh, you see that there are a lot of ebooks and these ebooks uh, uh, white papers all these are content marketing which will drive discovery uh, you can do guest posts on other blogs and again these guest posts will be uh post which will be you will be uh, uh posting on others blogs for free free content for them the bloggers and you will be able to get a backlink from that and drive some traffic uh, there is something called solo email ads uh, which is basically uh writing emails uh, to people but it's not your list it's someone else's list and they will be uh, allowing you to send one email as an ad 
about you or they will be sending it themselves right so these are all the different uh, you know discovery uh, and attention methods that that is available but once you get the uh, discovery and attention what next uh, without lead generation it's not possible right and going back to the analogy of this guy trying to meet up with a lot of girls but you know he may be making eye contact with uh, let's say 20 different girls and only you know 10 of them make eye contact back and only maybe three of them actually smile and only one out of them will actually uh, give her uh, uh, you know give him her phone number right so this is lead generation part and again this is part of the funnel where uh, if you if you look at discovery and attention let's say 1000 people look at your ad and probably 100 people will click on it and when 100 people click on it another 50 people will read through your entire landing page and maybe only 10 out of them will actually leave their name and contact details on your landing page but this name and contact details is your lead generation uh, and again bear with me if you do not understand uh, the entire process right now i will show you a live example where you will understand the entire process very clearly uh, so lead generation right so lead generation there is uh, landing pages there is notification bars uh, you have website pop-ups in many website you would have seen that as soon as you visit the website there will be a pop-up coming and which will uh, say that you know you can download a free ebook and uh, uh, to download this free ebook you have to leave your name and email id right so that is available uh, there is uh, sidebars right uh, you would have seen that in a lot of blogs there is a, a way to enter the name and email id in the sidebar uh, of course, there are contact forms, right? Uh, you will be uh, visiting a website. You will be leaving the name and email ID in a contact form. They will get back to you. Uh, registration forms, free trial registration. So if you visit a website and if you sign up for the free trial, and again, a free trial registration is form of a lead, right? Uh, there is something called co-registrations, uh, which means that basically uh, you partner with someone else, uh, someone who is in the same niche. And every time uh, someone registers for their site, by default, uh, they also become a registered user of your site. So that is co-registration. And there is something, uh, uh, there is uh, anti-co-registration where basically uh, you partner with them and every time someone registers on your site, you pass on the lead information to them as well. So this is uh, lead generation part uh, and next is uh, building relationship and trust. So again, uh, as I said, if you don't understand anything right now, just bear with me. Uh, you will understand the entire process much, much better when I show you some of the live examples uh, of businesses actually using inbound marketing. But until now, uh, I am sure that this is pretty much clear, right? So the first part is driving discovery and attention. And the second part is actually uh, trying to do the lead generation part where uh, let's say 1000 people actually pay attention to your ads, uh, you try to get at least the name and email ID or the phone number of at least some of uh, 10 to 50 people, right? So that would be a conversion ratio of one to 5%. So next would be building relationship and trust. So once the lead generation has happened and going back to your analogy, getting the phone number of the girl is the lead generation part, right? And once the lead generation happens, you cannot just leave it like that. The lead will not convert into a customer automatically and you have to follow up with the lead you have to call them you have to give more information you have to develop a relationship you have to develop trust uh, that's when the lead actually becomes a sale right so let's see what are all the steps involved in building relationship and trust so one of the basic method is you know sending follow-up messages so you keep sending follow-up uh, emails uh, it could be emails and phone calls or emails phone calls and sms uh, that is something called drip marketing. Uh, I'm sure that many of you would have heard about drip marketing. If not, just search for drip marketing either on Google or, you know, I have a blog where I have written about drip marketing, which I will send to you later. Uh, be useful, uh, send useful content, identify needs or problems, answer their questions and build trust. So th this is the most important part. So the very uh, reason for sending up uh, follow-up emails and you know trying to be useful sending useful content first you have to identify their needs and problems you have to answer their questions you could have a forum where you could answer their questions and you have to build trust with them and only when you build trust they will be ready to buy from you right and the, the people who have given their contact details they are the leads for you and you should not let the leads go you should not uh, just leave them at some point in time right you should always follow up with them 
so these leads right let's say you have generated 100 leads through some online marketing campaign these 100 leads should either say no to your products and services they should say no i don't want to hear from you again or they should actually buy it so until then you should keep following up right so uh, guys here uh, you should be able to relate to it so if you if you got the phone number of a girl you know you will keep calling back until the girl says don't call me again right you will not just leave it at some point in time you will actually see that you know if this is going to work out and whether uh, this is going to become something serious so that is the same more or less the same kind of uh, analogy that you have to use here the same kind of steps that you have to use here you have to keep following up with your leads and try to convert them into paying customers or they will just unsubscribe from, from your follow up if you are like calling them uh, manually uh, then they will be saying that you know i am not interested in your product anymore please don't call me again or if they are receiving a lot of follow up emails then they will be like you know i don't want to receive any emails anymore so please uh, unsubscribe me so they will be clicking on the unsubscribe button and once they click on the unsubscribe button they will just get unsubscribed right so what is the fourth step uh, now that you have built some relationship and trust now that people who have opted in and try to get more information uh, from you they are now they are like your friends right so next now you really need not you know pester them to actually buy your product now that you have understood their needs and once you have understood their needs the next step is actually uh, to go ahead and present your products and services in a subtle way so i will show you some examples of how this is happening in inbound marketing case uh, studies and instead of trying to push your products to them what you should do is that you should let them discover your products and services uh, you present it to them because uh, you want to help them you want them uh, to buy the right products and services you want the right customers for your products and services right then you have to educate about your product then you have to remove their objections uh, so all this will uh, culminate in selling effortlessly right and once they actually buy from you these customers are going to be happy customers and uh, you can actually upsell you know you can sell more stuff to them or uh, and you can retain existing customers and help them solve their problems and achieve their goals so that is what entrepreneurship is about right entrepreneurship is all about not trying to sell something and make money for yourself or your company uh, there are certain businesses which focus just on that and i am sure that certain so those businesses will eventually fail but entrepreneurship is all, always about creating products and services where you will be selling uh, something to someone because they need it and it solves uh, product it solves a problem for them or it makes their life better that's what the entire thing is about right so i will show you one example one live example of uh, neveljourney.com so this is a website which was started by my friend and he is still running this website and i basically uh, became a strategy and marketing partner uh, for his website where i said that uh, i will guide you how you can actually start uh, generating traffic online how you can find more customers and let me be a partner for you so here in neveljourney.com what we have done is that we basically uh, drive discovery via youtube blogs uh, search engine and social media so what i will do right now is that i will just change the screen and i will try to show you show it to you live just give me a second so here i am in a new screen and here i will be uh, you know uh, let's let's go to neveljourney.com so uh, this is the website and this website is basically uh, about uh, uh, helping people uh, do their ssb interviews so if you don't know what ssb interview is ssb interview is basically an exam that you have to clear uh if you have to join the indian armed forces and this is a big market just like ias coaching uh, there are a lot of people selling ssb coaching programs uh, to people and and here you can see that the discovery process is basically driven uh, by writing a lot of articles so in this blog you can see lots of articles uh, which has been published to help ssb aspirants and here you can see many of these articles get ranked in the search engines for example uh top 10 ssb coaching and training centers in india you can see that um people are searching for this particular keyword and you can see that there is a top listing here enablejourney.com so people come into this site and also there is a discovery process through youtube 
so inside youtube uh, we have uh, ssbinterviewtips.com where we have published a few videos um, we don't have much time so we have not published a lot of videos but you can see that we have published a few videos and each of these videos has got very good number of views you can see 9000 16000 22000 so there will be people who are searching for ssb interview tips Hello. and they will be landing on this particular web, uh, video and from here they will be landing it's on the website as well so once they land on the website you can see that there is a pop up which is appearing and this pop up is basically there to collect the name and email id and here we are giving away 10 tips to crack the ssb interview and this is like free tips and this is uh, what i said about uh, building the relationship and trust right so to build the relationship and trust first we have to be useful we have to uh, prove ourselves that you know we can actually give you good content which helps you so even if they are not buying from you we are giving away good content so people will be entering their name and email id here or if they don't uh, enter it here if they close it uh, you can see that there is a notification bar here and if you click on this particular link uh, where it will go is that it will go to a landing page and here in this landing page you can see Uh, there is a name and email ID uh, form here. So this is a typical landing page and once they enter the name and email ID and sign up, they will again start receiving the tips that I was talking about. And inside each and every article, you can see that there is another call to action. And here, if you click on this call to action again, you will land on the la same landing page. But once they go into the landing page, so what I recommend you to uh, do that, you know, if you want to kind of spy on us, if you want to discover how we actually do the selling, uh, go ahead and enter your name and email ID here and once you enter the name and email ID you will start receiving emails uh, for the next 7 to 14 days and each of these email will be linking to ssbstudy.com is where uh, we have the landing page and this is where we are selling the actual information product here. So here you can see there is a long form landing page uh, explaining the benefits and here you can see there is an order now button and if someone clicks on the order now button uh, they will be going to this page where they can actually make a payment so they can click on this and make a payment via credit card debit card or net banking and once the payment is done uh, they will be uh, they will uh, they will start getting the courses online itself and there is also some offline books that we send to their address so this is how the entire sales process for naval journey happens and this is completely using inbound marketing and here we don't have some salesperson who calls up people and tries to sell them this product right uh, you can see that uh, we don't collect the phone number of uh, the people who want to um, who want to uh, sign up for this here you can see we are collecting only name and email IDs uh, only follow up emails are sent here and you can also see that there is no phone number listed on this website absolutely no no uh, way to uh, for the people to contact right uh, and as I said there is a misconception among a lot of people that you know people won't buy if they don't talk to you people won't buy if they don't think you are a big brand right but here we are selling a coaching program for 1995 and this is not a very big website uh, of course i will show you some sales statistics as well so uh, back to the presentation screen so here you can see that this is what we do right we drive discovery via youtube blog search engine and social media so this is basically traffic and then there is lead generation happening via pop-ups landing pages and then we send follow up emails a bunch of follow up emails which goes via drip marketing and then there is a redirection to sales page in each and every uh, one of these mails that goes out and then there is a closed transaction right so you can see that uh, this is in the past six months to one year uh, we have sold uh, up to one lakh uh, you know up to 120 units sold uh, some sales uh, come via offline as well they send checks to us but you can see that you know uh, 1 lakh 48 thousand sales has been made and you can see all these people buying uh, these products for 1995 995 1995 and each of these sales happen completely automatic excuse me completely automatically and completely effortlessly so uh, someone actually shelling out 1995 rupees is not a simple thing right especially in india and these are not high end customers these are students who want to learn more about ssb interviews and they want to learn more how to crack the ssb interview so they are shelling out 1995 how do they do it even without talking to someone there is no phone number listed on the site there is a very good chance that you know we could be a scam website and there is a very good chance that these guys could actually lose the payment made but they are 
very comfortably making the payment very happily making the payment uh, that's because the relationship and trust has been built using the drip marketing sequence right so how exactly to send uh, drip marketing i will show you some tools uh, before we get on to the examples and uh, you know uh, the tools that i use uh, we will also look at another example uh, completely different market uh, completely different product uh, now that I showed you selling uh, training online, there are lots of people who sell online training via this method uh, effortlessly, right? Automatically, the traffic just keeps coming in. So they just focus on their customers who pay. They just focus on trying to give more value by writing more content. This is how the entire thing goes. Uh, lots of uh, uh, training and information products get sold this way. So I will go to a completely different example, selling real estate. So who would have thought about selling real estate using inbound marketing? You would have seen wherever you are right now, uh, you know that there is a huge real estate boom. Uh, people are advertising on TV, they are advertising on billboards, they are conducting events. Um, all types of marketing is going on. But there is one company in Bangalore who is doing inbound marketing very well. So what they are doing is that they are driving discovery via Google and Facebook ads. So they advertise on Google and Facebook ads and people come to their landing pages. They do lead generation via the landing pages. Then they do follow up emails and phone calls to the people who have shown interest in their property. Uh, the people who do fo uh, follow up phone calls, what they do is that they uh, site visit scheduling is done. Uh, they ask them uh, when is a free time that they can go for a model flat visit or a plot visit, right? And then once that is done, then there are field sales people who take over it. Uh, then there is site visit. And once the site uh, visit is done, the sales people will follow up and close the transaction, right? So I will show you uh, again, let's get back to the live screen. Uh, I will show you Vakil Housing. So you can see uh, vakilhousing.com. Uh, this is the official website uh, of theirs, uh, just like a typical corporate website. But even here you can see that they are collecting name and email IDs, right? Uh, they are giving away some free information uh, for home buyers. You can see that they, are, they have different uh, projects running on. And each of these pro uh, projects is advertised on a separate landing page, right? Then they have some testimonials as well. Uh, they are doing blogging and content marketing where they are generating some leads apart from Facebook and Google ads. And uh, let's go ahead and look at one of their landing pages, right? So here you can see they even have an exit pop-up and they are giving away a free guide for people who visit their website. So let's see. So let's see. This is uh, a landing page. So uh, landing page for this project called Vakil Enkasa and here you can see that uh, they have uh, listed the benefits and features of their project and first name, phone number, email and what would be a good time to talk and someone could download the brochure and price list via here. And you can see that this is a landing page with some features uh, listed. Um, they have a video tour on which you can uh, look the entire site on video. We have some testimonials as well, right? And there are some, uh, there is another call to action here, which you click goes back to the landing page, right? So uh, this form, once you do uh, the lead generation part happens, right? So what happens once the lead is generated, right? So since this happens over a period of time, what I will, what I've done is that, you know, I have taken a screenshot uh, of the follow up mails that they do. So here, uh, this is the follow up mails uh, from uh, Vakil Housing. So here you can see that I inquired for this project called Vakil Marigold and once I signed up, so you can see that I have signed up for this uh, particular uh, landing page on August 7th and once I signed up, they have sent me an email with uh, frequently asked questions about Vakil Marigold. Then uh, there was a person who called me and this automatic emails are coming from Dinesh, which is follow up emails. But then there is uh, this girl Fatima who has called me. And she told me, you know, I want to give you further details. I will send you the brochure via email attachment. So here you can see the attachment. So look at the sequence of mails here. So August 7th, the first mail comes. Then she calls me and she schedules a shite visit. Uh, uh, she also gives me the brochure. So this is happening on August 10th. And then August 13th, there is a follow-up mail. August 16th, there is a follow-up mail. August 19th, there is a follow-up mail. And again, there is a August 20th, there is follow-up mail. And all these follow-up mails are not just about their project. It's not just about selling their product. Uh, go ahead and look at the subjects here. See, uh, so this is about their product. Listen what these home buyers have to say. This is basically testimonials. But here they have given some free content which is useful for a home buyer like me, right? So rent versus EMI, which is better? 
it is worth every rupee whether investing in this project is worth your rupee or not and here they have uh, given some insights about uh, the legal troubles that people who buy houses will face or or people who are uh, facing such legal troubles so every home buyer's worst nightmare so here you can see that you know every home buyer has some objections what if i land into some legal troubles if i buy a house from this particular builder so here they are actually removing the objections and also trying to build relationship and trust and because there are some useful emails coming uh, from this people i have still not unsubscribed right so i am still considering whether to invest in this particular project or not but i am still considering it so back to uh, our uh, landing page so here you can see that they are also doing content marketing they are uh, trying to generate more subscribers with five part email series uh, giving more information about uh, uh, home buying right so here you can see a landing page they are uh, trying to collect name and email id right so now that i have shown you that there is a possibility uh to actually sell effortlessly right that's the topic of this entire presentation how to sell effortlessly i have told you that sales need not be always pushy sales need not be always difficult right i have shown you an analogy where uh, i showed you the guy who is trying to sell himself and another guy who is trying to uh, build a relationship and trust uh, with a potential mate and that is an analogy how a relationship can be built then i have shown you the different steps that can be done and i have also shown you two examples of Uh, effortless sales that is being made right so even here you can see that nobody is being pushy nobody is trying to actually con someone into buying so people who discover this project people who understand more about this particular real estate project they are really excited and you can also see there is an exit pop up which is coming here right so exit pop up is basically for people who visit the landing page but don't give out their contact information they are going away anyway so here they are giving this seven part email series again and just the name and email id so just to keep these people engaged and build a relationship with them right and once a relationship is built with them so here they are not asking for phone number so here the conversions will go up just the name and email id right so uh, now that you have also seen some examples right uh, these examples clearly demonstrate that there is a better way to sell and a lot of people don't know about this better way and with this better way you can sell effortlessly and sales can actually be just like going down a water slide it can be easy you just need to focus on uh, developing good products and services now that i have shown you everything what i would uh, like to do next is uh, show you some of uh, the tools that are available right so tools for discovery right tools for discovery would be adwords uh, so you know everybody go knows about google adwords so you can either note it down or you will uh, get a recording of this presentation so you would be able to review it again so google adwords is basically if you want to advertise on google uh, i hope many of you would have seen right so if i am searching for vakil housing you can see there is an ad running here so this is basically google ads uh, you know facebook ads everybody would have seen facebook ads uh, you just uh, need to create a facebook ad account you can drive discovery like that uh, you can do sponsored reviews as well so when i was working for insta mojo uh, you you can see that uh, let's say insta mojo review so we have done a lot of sponsored posts in different uh, leading tech blogs so you can see uh, to promote insta mojo what we basically did was we contacted lots of bloggers and we tried to uh, convince them to actually write about us uh, some bloggers wrote about us for free some bloggers actually uh, did a sponsored post where we paid them so if i if i search for insta mojo review you can see that uh, bloggers ideas uh, this is my own blog Uh, many of you would have known about this site called track.in uh, it is pretty famous and uh, track.in uh, posted a review about us and uh, lots of blogs have posted reviews and this is another way uh, sponsored reviews or another way to drive awareness about your product uh, youtube ads right you would have seen lot of youtube ads you can do youtube advertising uh, drive awareness and attention to your product uh, blog comments so, uh, solo email ads so that's all about just the advertising part but what would you do with this advertising right so you need to uh, go and channel this traffic to a landing page so where can you create landing pages so once you create landing pages you can collect name and email id using landing pages so you have some tools like uh, unbounce.com so basically unbounce.com is another landing page tool insta page is a landing page tool where uh, you can create beautiful landing pages uh, no need of any technical skills or coding skills 
you can directly go ahead and uh, start deploying landing pages uh, just a drag and drop and just like uh, Vakil Marigold you can see that you know you can create landing pages like that there is a software called optimizepress.com if you are running WordPress uh, website and if you want to create landing pages within WordPress optimize press is a very good tool for creating landing pages right so here you can see this is a one-time charge of $97 and once you purchase this you will be able to create as many landing pages that you want. It's so, so here you can see you know their pitch is creating sales page, converting landing pages, membership portals as well. And uh, in some cases you would have seen. To build a successful web second. business you need. So in some cases you would have seen a lot of uh, uh, there will be a lot of uh, one second let me just close this video yeah uh, there will be a lot of exit pop-ups so there is a uh, software called optinmonster.com so if you search for optin monster you will see that so optin monster is basically uh, the software which is used to create exit pop-ups so you visit a website and you try to exit and then they will be trying to convert you into a uh, lead right so you will be able to enter name and email id here so here i am on their landing page and you can see that once i try to exit they are trying to capture uh, the name and email id here right so this is another way to uh, generate leads uh, there is another software called pop-up domination so it's 3:46 uh, right now i will uh, wind over with the presentation in another two minutes and then we will get on to the q a session so this is pop-up domination again pop-up domination is another way to generate leads. you can see that pop-up domination uh, $97 one time payment and you will be able to use it on unlimited websites and they also have exit pop-ups once you try to exit a website uh, this pop-up comes you will be uh, seeing a lot of uh, different uh, pop-ups in a lot of websites right so again this is another way to generate leads but what if after you generate leads what uh, after that so you, you have to do email marketing right you have to send follow-up emails so I will show you some uh, tools for that So you have this tool called uh, madmimi.com. Uh, madmimi.com is a tool to uh, send uh, follow-up emails. You have aweber.com. Uh, you can see aweber.com uh, again a paid tool. Uh, as soon as a user subscribes, so they will. You can you can set up a sequence of emails, right? So you can set up an email to go out immediately. You can set up another email to go out after two days. Another email to go out another two days after that and uh, these tools will help you actually set up such kind of email sequence so someone is signing up today they will be engaged for the next two weeks if you set it up like that someone who is signing up after a week from that point onwards they will be uh, getting these follow-up emails so that is another way uh, mailchimp uh, many of you would have heard about mailchimp mailchimp is also uh, giving you uh, drip marketing campaigns so here if you go to features you will be able to see uh, subscriber profiles automation and personalization so basically you will be able to uh, see a lot of automation tools here uh, getresponse.com another great email marketing tool to do the follow-up emails and there is something called activecampaign.com activecampaign.com uh, will help you and there is something called customer.io as well so active campaign will help you uh, send behavioral emails uh, based on what they do customer.io is also helping you send behavioral emails like for example depending on what action you took on a particular website you will be able to send follow up mails based on that for example if someone added a product to a cart and then they did not check out you will be able to monitor that behavior and then so, uh, send follow up emails according to that so most of these tools have free trial uh, i recommend you go and check it out um, uh, some of the tools that we have discussed uh, so you have active campaign you have get response you have mailchimp you have aweber uh, you have madmimi then you have uh, pop up tools and uh, lead generation tools right uh, like optin monster then you have other uh, landing page creation tools as well uh, if you are selling very high end products right so for example in the case of real estate uh, what you need to do is you have to make phone calls like for example in the case of uh, selling online training uh, we did we don't do any phone calls at all uh, because it's a little bit of a low priced product comparatively and uh, someone need not actually talk on the phone before purchasing right they are comfortable purchasing online but this is a uh, pipe drive a uh, very good crm a lot of SaaS companies use this product called pipe drive if you want to make follow-up calls 
and if you want to schedule follow up calls in a dashboard and uh, schedule tasks activities have multiple users assign sales to multiple users i recommend that you check out pipe drive as well so that's it uh, we have covered pretty much everything that i wanted to cover uh, back to the presentation so thank you thanks a lot for uh, going through the entire uh, presentation i hope you learned a lot today uh, i hope you found the analogies and examples interesting and uh, you you could have uh, you know uh, you would have uh, taken a note of all the tools that i described or you can uh, re rerun the recording later and uh, uh, try out all the tools and if you have any questions you can always contact me so i am sure that there will be a follow up mail coming to you uh, with uh, uh, my contact details as well so that's it uh, now we can go to the q and a session and over to uh, digital vidya right now digital vidya organizer uh, can you please uh, take it forward yeah sure so i can see people uh, you know have started writing questions also i would request uh, uh, anyone who has question please write down on the uh, question panel right okay so uh, the first question is from uh, nimit so he is saying uh, what is your email id to get acha okay it's is just uh, you know navigated towards your email id in terms of connection all right so harsh is saying uh, so anyway uh, uh, what if the reviews in a business is not yeah so so the question is uh, kaushik kaustik is asking what is the review of your business is not good, going good right and yeah i'm just uh, going through the questions right now i see uh, nimit's question oh, email id to get connected and then i have question from harsh so harsh uh, you are welcome and uh, thanks a lot uh, for listening to the presentation uh, you can get in touch with me via email so anybody who wants uh, my email id that is uh, mail@digitaldeepak.com uh, you can uh, just uh, shoot me an email not a problem uh, even if you uh, have to wait for a little bit to get a reply i will definitely reply so i hope you got my email id so anyone can send me a email uh, so uh, disha you are asking all examples are related to b2c how to target b2b customers so i have plenty of examples for uh, b2b as well but because of the time constraint i was able to show you only two examples here uh, but what uh, you can do is that you can go ahead and google yourself do some research Uh, i worked in a company called exotel uh, you can check out exotel.in so exotel.in i will just send it here so in exotel basically they do inbound marketing uh, they do inside sales uh, everything is done as i have uh, explained here so amarjeet you have a question so you want to know if you are using multiple auto responder service how to connect them together so you will not be ab uh, able to use multiple auto responder service because that would actually kind of mess up the flow but what i can show you is that uh, if you want to integrate different services right so so if you go to instapage.com or if you go to unbounce.com they will provide you automatic integrations with most of the email marketing services that are out there so most of the email marketing services that i showed you uh, such as uh, Uh, customer dot i o get response active campaign and aweber mailchimp so these landing page tools will have integrations available but if you don't have an integration available either you can hire a coder and set up the integration or what you can do is that you can uh, use zapier dot com uh, you can note down this as well zapier dot com and zapier dot com will help you do integration between two different tools so they have various different integrations for example you can integrate email and dropbox you can integrate twitter and slack and lots of integrations are there some are free and some are paid so you can uh, see that you know uh, mailchimp is there and then you can see this is this form uh, builder ufu is there and then you will be able to see lot of email marketing tools see aweber is there right so this is how you uh, you can start integrating different tools uh, with one another so varun uh, going on to varun's question uh, if a retail brand does not own the section of sales funnel sales happen through an online portal how can you effectively leverage inbound marketing so varun that is a very good question uh, the problem that i see in a lot of uh, different organizations and businesses is that uh, different people own different things for example in many organizations sales and marketing do not talk to each other but when you come to inbound marketing right when it comes to inbound marketing inbound marketing uh, 
the sales is also built into the marketing funnel itself and here it becomes very difficult it becomes kind of a war between sales people and marketing people and sales people will complain that marketing is not generating good leads and sales people will be following up with these leads and there will not be enough feedback sent to the marketing people so what you have to do is that you have to do your own research on inbound marketing and try to restructure the organization of course if it is your own business you will be able to restructure the organization very easily uh, now that you have seen some examples here but if you are working somewhere right you need to convince your boss or whoever owns the company to kind of restructure the entire organization so that uh, this entire funnel can be fit and both sales and marketing can come on the same road so that's one thing um, any further questions you can definitely email we will move on to the next question so uh, gaurav you are asking how to increase uh, deepak before, deepak uh, before going to the next yeah hello not able to hear you properly deepak before going to the next question uh, i will uh, is it better now deepak yeah yeah it's better now yeah go ahead so before going to next question i would like to launch a poll and sure. meanwhile you can you know take on the question yeah yeah sure so uh, uh, there will be a poll organized here um, so please uh, answer the poll and while i answer the other questions uh, let's see so if you are interested in uh, taking an online course in digital marketing uh, you know uh, there is a entire course about inbound marketing and the inbound marketing module alone is for nearly 12 to 15 hours and i am leading inbound marketing sessions at digital vidya as well and i am a trainer with digital vidya as well and if you want to learn more about inbound marketing whatever you have learned today if you want to actually learn more and actually start implementing then uh, you should have a look at the inbound marketing modules available at digital vidya so there is an inbound marketing uh, course separately and there is inbound marketing module also available in uh, the bigger course uh, you know if you contact digital vidya they will be able to give you more information about it so let's see some of the questions so uh, varun i hope i answered your question Uh, gaurav you are asking how to increase uh, youtube views through inbound ways uh, so for example if you are uh, publishing a very good youtube video and if you have a email list of say 10000 people right so after publishing this youtube video what you can do is that you can send a mail to all your existing subscribers that you have published this video and even if some 500 to 1000 people end up visiting uh, viewing that video what will happen is that the rank of that video will start getting better the more likes the video gets and more comments that the video gets it will start becoming better and because of that it will rank better in the youtube search as well as in google search and this will help you get more youtube views and this will also help you generate more inbound traffic and leads from the youtube views right so gaurav i hope i answered your question So Bhaskar uh, you are having 11 years experience in conventional sales and marketing how can i start my career in inbound marketing as a freelancer So now that you have got started with inbound marketing you have learned some things the next step if you want to do if you want to really fast track your learning and actually get into a group of uh, inbound marketing learners and executioners you can join a uh, inbound marketing training program it could be from any mode um, you can go ahead and search for it or what you can do is that you know if you have plenty of time and if you can afford to actually spend this time in trying to learn it yourself just go ahead and learn about inbound marketing just go ahead and search for inbound marketing read all the articles that are available right there and start practicing it i am not saying that inbound marketing is the only way to do marketing so you can have other channels of marketing open until inbound marketing takes up but you can start experimenting with it you can create a landing page you can start generating some leads and try to give more information to the sales uh, try to create a drip marketing campaign and once you do this right you will start seeing the power of inbound marketing that's how you get started and then after that you can start scaling up slowly right that's how you get started so next question uh, so different between traditional effortless marketing so anju uh, effortless marketing there is nothing called effortless marketing so we, you have traditional marketing and inbound marketing two different ways but what i am saying is that the entire inbound marketing methodology that i told you is basically a way to do marketing and sales effortlessly that's what i said and you can go ahead and uh, you know try to discover more about what is the difference but 
traditional marketing is about trying to push customers to buy trying to advertise you know i think the analogy that i gave in the beginning of the seminar is a very clear difference between traditional and effortless marketing so pritham uh, uh, thanks a lot i hope you uh, learned a lot in this presentation uh, definitely get in uh, touch with me so madhavi you are asking for a link to my blog uh, my blog link is digitaldeepak.com uh, i have uh, wrote some articles about inbound marketing and whatever i have discussed here i have written it about in my blog you can visit that as well it's 4 o'clock so rakesh you are saying how to deal with negative reviews and its impact on inbound marketing so again inbound marketing uh, when it comes to negative reviews it can be considered as a double edged sword but as long as you really attend to your customers uh, do social media listening and uh, be really clear in the communication right what your product is about and how will they how will it help them if you do this the chances of negative reviews are almost non existent unless someone buys a product not knowing what it is only then they will be dissatisfied and they will be actually leaving a negative review right but if you communicate upfront what exactly the product is about on how how it will help them then there will not be any negative reviews and that's one of the uh, good things about inbound marketing right you are not getting the wrong customers you are getting the right customers and you shouldn't really worry about negative reviews so um, uh, what else so anurag you are a student and you want to start leveraging your knowledge of inbound marketing you have completed digital vidya module as well So Anurag what I would recommend is that you start practicing inbound marketing yourself now that selling online is very easy uh, what you have to do is that you can either go ahead and create a product yourself it could be an information product and this information product you can start selling using inbound marketing or you can do start, start using uh, inbound marketing for personal branding as well start collecting email ids start doing follow up emails uh, you said you have completed a digital vidya module uh, inside digital vidya you would be able to see a project Uh, which is earn your first hundred rupees with blogging, right? Uh, go ahead and do that project. Start building your own blog. Start uh, developing a list of subscribers. And once you do that, that's how you get started uh, with inbound marketing, right? So uh, Madhavi, you are asking, Mad Mimi, does it have integration with WordPress? Uh, it does not have an integration with WordPress, and you don't need one because whatever the pop up plugins that come in wordpress right whatever way that uh, you use your wordpress traffic to generate leads whether it's pop ups or redirecting your landing page these landing page tools and pop up tools will have an integration with madmini so shaik uh, is there any uh, signs that your inbound marketing strategy is ineffective at the initial stage shaik i have not seen in inbound marketing strategy to be ineffective from what i have seen i have seen traditional marketing to be ineffective inbound marketing is effective always every time and i have seen this across multiple industries from real estate to online learning uh, to selling cosmetics to selling beauty products to selling uh, diet dietitian consultants are using inbound marketing to sell the only difficulty that you will face in the beginning is that it will be difficult to generate a lot of leads using inbound marketing if you are just doing content marketing and blogging as i showed you in the case study of naval journey we don't do paid advertising for naval journey what we do is that we only advertise it on youtube uh, we put blog articles we get traffic to blog articles and we try to uh, leverage that but if you feel that going via free methods like free content marketing methods it will, it's going to take some time to start getting traffic so instead what you can do you can go ahead and advertise on google facebook wherever you can but instead of just trying to advertise and expecting people to buy from you uh, drive that traffic to a landing page generate leads build relationship and then start selling so Lawrence you are asking about OMCP certification yes it is a very good industry standard certification uh, you will get prepared for OMCP certification but uh, what i would say is that that particular certification is not really necessary if you really want to uh, get a really good job right so people will be looking at what you have done and people will not be looking at what certificate do you have so these training programs will definitely help you learn a lot but what i would recommend is that start implementing and even if you can't implement it in your own project what you can do is that you can go ahead and help someone with inbound marketing like a pro bono consultant and then use that project in your resume to show people that you know inbound marketing you know you, you just don't know inbound marketing but you have actually done inbound marketing 
so people hire consultants and employees for the results not for the knowledge anybody can gain knowledge from the internet and books but people hire people for results so you need to show people that you know uh, you can bring results and that can be shown only when you have actually brought results for someone else before i hope that answered uh, your question uh, yes lawrence uh, as i said you know it's all the same b2c b2b the selling process is the same so varun uh, in the, you are saying that in the product retail space many brands can't legally sell online yes that is a problem but that's really a different kind of problem it's a problem with uh, uh, the regulations and the legal part of it but that doesn't stop people from selling uh, products via inbound marketing right you don't sell online instead for example real estate nobody actually purchases real estate online itself it actually ends up in an offline transaction but the advertising uh, lead generation and the relationship part is built uh, using the online medium right so next question uh, harsh you are saying that what is the ideal budget to start marketing advertising on inbound marketing channels that really depends on your business and that really depends on the particular business in question certain businesses can afford to advertise uh, spend more on advertising right because they will be able to either they have an investment to advertise or they are able to wait for a long time to start taking in the profit uh, taking out the profits right so if you have 10 lakhs to invest i would ask you to start investing 10 lakhs in inbound marketing but whether you are taking out the 10 lakhs within one month or you are able to take out the 10 lakhs only in the next 5 years and whether you can afford to do that is a question that you have to answer so prashant uh, you are asking what will i say in one line for inbound marketing so in one line if i have to explain inbound marketing inbound marketing is a way to pull in customers and sell your products effortlessly so that that would be inbound marketing in one line so disha you are asking about sms marketing as a part of inbound marketing as i said you can do the follow up uh, messages via sms you can remind people you can give away information yes of course you cannot give away a lot of information using sms but you can keep reminding people right like for example if you have scheduled a, in the case of real estate what they do is that if they have scheduled a site visit they send reminders via sms that can be done so amarjeet again how to design uh, marketing funnels and how to research for niche uh, that is beyond the scope of this particular uh, webinar to be honest uh, there is an entire lesson on how to design marketing funnels Uh, which you will learn in a proper training program, or you could go ahead and do the research yourself. So Varun, as I already said, in certain cases, um, you are asking that you know uh, if you have to work with Mintra or Jabong to sell, how can you leverage inbound marketing? In certain cases, in terms of uh, commodity market or in terms of FMCG goods, mass market products, traditional marketing still works okay. but let's say mintra and jabong to sell how will you leverage inbound marketing so for example if you purchase something on amazon amazon will send you a follow up email uh, giving uh, more information about the products related to the product that you have actually purchased so that is a behavior based mail which is a part of inbound marketing right of course in uh, when it comes to big e-commerce websites you cannot apply the entire inbound marketing funnel as i have shown you here but this presentation is more about uh, understanding exactly how inbound marketing works and what is the possibility and some examples but each and every business the inbound marketing has to be done differently and there are certain cases where inbound marketing is not really uh, very powerful uh, when it comes to uh, the uh, quality of sales or the effortless sales that you have uh, you want to do so next question faisal uh inbound marketing in a simple way i'm sure that this entire presentation was about inbound marketing right so you would have understood about inbound marketing so next question from yogesh yogesh i did not understand your question uh, you said uh, while executing our product we need to educate our customers about the product yes we have to let them know about our faults of a product so that will be beneficial from uh that's really optional yes in certain cases if you uh, talk about the cons of your product that will also help you get the right customers for example if someone is purchasing the product for a particular reason you know and if if that particular uh, feature is not available on your product you better be upfront about it because 
uh, we are talking about effortless sales and we are talking about honest sales right we don't want to cheat customers so they will be happy if they find out some cons and they will be moving away from your product it's okay So Gaurav, you are saying that you have data from a very small people, uh, 300 to 400 people. You can actually uh, improve that database by doing inbound marketing. So Kautak Sahni, you are asking a, another question. In India, there are many businesses that are not online. Let's say furniture shop. How would you suggest them to use inbound marketing? Please give some example. Using F FB ads would not be a good way as it might be that people from other state are clicking and this vendor cannot deliver there. So uh, your question of inbound marketing for a furniture shop can be done. Yes, I have shown you real estate being uh, promoted by inbound marketing, right? And you are saying that if you are running Facebook ads, uh, what you can do is that in Facebook, there is a targeting available. So if you are having a furniture shop in Bangalore, you can actually go ahead and target Bangalore and you will be able to uh, get uh, uh, clicks only from Bangalore. And this furniture shop can actually send follow up emails about the advantages of their different products. And that would definitely uh, work very well for this furniture product. I have shown you real estate, right? One of the, uh, there is no real estate company who actually does inbound marketing. And this company has actually proved that with, uh, even you can sell real estate, even real estate with inbound marketing. So let's uh, check other questions. So Anirban, right now there is no such platform, but such platforms are coming up. Uh, send me an email and I will reply you with more details of such platforms uh, where digital marketers can interact. So Anju, you need this session offline. Uh, you will be sent a recording of this presentation. So any other questions? Uh, I think I have covered most of the questions. I think all the questions has been covered. Yeah, I don't yeah. Think people are... yeah some questions are repetitive. Uh, same questions has been uh, given again. But uh, uh, yeah, so I think we are pretty much done. Uh, I hope uh, the participants uh, got a lot of value from this seminar. Uh, and uh, so handing it over to you. And thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. And in fact, uh, we are very thankful to you for uh, such a uh, you know lovely presentation. Uh, a lot of questions got answered all together. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, also, uh, we'll certainly share uh, the recording with all the participants. Right. And um, love to see you with uh, another workshops as well, the webinars that we okay. normally do. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Okay. Thanks thank a lot. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Signing off. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. See you in another webinar.